Okay guys, welcome back to Reef Knots. Thank you for tuning in. I know why you are here. You wanna learn how to do this, the full Windsor, the double Windsor, or just the plain Windsor. They all mean the same thing, but you are here to learn how to do that. Now, most videos on the internet will show you how to do it back to front because you're watching someone else do it. This one is gonna be shot in this mirror, and therefore all you're gonna to need to do is to get your phone, stick it next to the mirror, and copy me exactly. We can do this, you and me. There's no one else here. We'll do it, I promise you. I'll help you through it, let's do it. Okay, before we get started, please just put in the comments where you are watching this from. Uh, we've done loads of these videos and we get people from all over the world. I think we did one about 10 days ago and we got people from everywhere, Nepal, Bahrain, all over the US, everywhere. So please let us know where you're watching. It's exciting for us to think that our little shop here is going out all over the world. So please do that and I'm gonna stop waffling and we're gonna get on with this. The first thing that we're gonna to need to learn is that the thin end of the tie is gonna be very short for this. How short will depend on your body length and your neck width and also the tie length. So you may need to give it a few tries before you get it completely correct but we're gonna need the thick end, the blade, to be quite long because we're gonna be wrapping it around quite a few times. Now we take the thick end and we're gonna cross it over the thin. And then what I would do is I would use your, this, these, your thumb and your middle finger just to squeeze that together so it doesn't move anywhere and bring the tie round the back. So you see that? Crossed over, bring it round the back. And then you're gonna tuck it through the middle here. So just bring it through the middle. The, um, give it a little tug and the tie will be hanging, as usual, behind and back to front. Then take it to the opposite side and tuck it through the middle again. And this is where it differs from the half Windsor. We're gonna tuck it through the middle again. And what you'll see is that this has created two shoulders in the tie, and again, the tie will be hanging behind backwards. Then you're gonna take it to the opposite side and wrap it straight around the front. That will give you the front of your knot, and we're gonna tuck it from behind through this gap again, but from behind this time. You then have the blade hanging down the front and we're just gonna tuck it through that, that front of the knot that we made and give it a little pull. Now a lot of people just pull this up to their neck. What I would do is squeeze the bottom of this knot as you give it a little tug and pull until it gets all the way up to your neck and that will give you a really nice triangular shape to the knot. Tuck the tail through the little loop in the back of your tie so it doesn't go for a wander and pull your collar down. And that is the full Windsor knot in a mirror so it should be very easy to follow. Okay, so that is it. I knew you'd do it. We all had faith in you. And there you go, you now know how to do a full Windsor knot. Please give the video a like if you have managed it and maybe subscribe to our channel. Uh, we've got loads of videos, you can see behind the scenes of our business down here. And we will see you next time. And if you don't wanna subscribe, then, well, everyone's gonna subscribe. So come on, just get involved. See you later, guys.